All right, so I want to make a little video about common factoring, and we're going to look at three different examples here. So common factoring, we're going to need to find the, the GCF. So the GCF is the greatest common factor. Okay, so if we look at 6 and 15, I'm going to list out all the possible ways we can multiply whole numbers to get 6. So 6, we could have 1 times 6, and we could also have 2 times 3. Okay, so those are the only two ways uh, we can multiply out to 6 using whole numbers. Similarly, we can do this with 15, so we have 1 times 15. Uh, 2 doesn't multiply to 15, 3 does. And 4 doesn't multiply. Once you hit one of the numbers on the right side, you know you're done. These are our only four factors here. So there's 4 for 6, and there's 4 for 15. So, when I find the greatest common factor, I am trying to find the biggest number that's in those two lists. Okay, so the biggest common number. So for me, I see that one is common to both, but three is the biggest common number. So what we can do then is divide it out of both terms. And this is what common factoring is. Okay, so if I divide six by three, or six x by three, I'm gonna take out a three, 6x divided by 3 is 2x. 15 divided by 3 is 5. Now this is common factored. So we took out what was common out of both terms, and by taking it out, we are dividing it out. Okay, so we're dividing it out of both terms. So we've got the 3 out in front. A quick way to check this, to see if you did it right, is multiply it back in. 3 times 2x would be 6x, 3 times 5 would be 15. So we know this one's right. Let's take a look at the second one. So if we have 16 and 4, 16, we could have 1 times 16, 2 times 8, and 4 times 4. Okay? And you could try this in your calculator, just punch in as many as you'd like, uh, but just know that once you've hit a number, if the one on the left is always increasing, once you've hit the other side, you've hit them all, you can stop. Uh, if I look at four, there's only oh, one Daddy. times four, oh, and Daddy. two times two. Hi, Jack. Uh, that one's not here. It's at your grandma's house. Okay. Bye, bud. All right. So now if I look at my two lists of factors here, uh, the biggest common number in both lists is 4. Okay. So I know I can take out a 4. There's a little bit more going on in this one, though. So this one, we also have x terms in x is in both of our terms. Here we only had an x here. We didn't have an x in both terms, so we couldn't take out any x's. Here, uh, the lowest amount of common, the lowest number of x's in both terms would be one. So we can take out one x, and what that's gonna leave us with, if I divide out six, four from 16, We'd have a 4 here. If I take one of the x's out, we have 4x for that first term. If I divide 4x by 4x, that's just going to be 1. So our answer here, we have 4x times 4x plus 1. And similar to the last one, you can quickly check it. 4 times 4x is 16x squared. 4x times 1 is 4x. So this one's all set. Now, what if we wanted to common factor something that had three terms? Well, let's see. We'll do the same thing here one more time. 
So we'll have 12, 15, and 8. Now, numbers that multiply to 12, 1 times 12, 2 times 6, 3 times 4. Well, I reached my next one, so this is the whole set here. Uh, 1 times 15, 2 doesn't work, 3 times 5, 4 doesn't work, 5's here, that one's complete. 1 times 8, 2 times 4, 3 doesn't work, 4 is here. Okay, so these three are complete sets here. Now, the biggest number that is in all three of these, let's see. Oh, that shouldn't be 8, that should be 18. My mistake. Okay, 1 times 18, 2 times 9, 3 times 6, 4 doesn't work, 5 doesn't work, there's 6. Okay, that's better. Wrong number. So now the biggest number in all three of these lists, I think, is three. So three is the biggest number in all those three lists. So what we can do now is divide out of three. Now in this previous example there was an x, at least one x in both terms, so we could take out an x. That third term is missing an x, so I can't take an x out of the other two. So we can only take a number out. 12 divided by 3 is 4x squared. 15 divided by 3 is 5x, 18 divided by 3 is 6. Alright, so this one's all done. Again, we can double check. 3 times 4x squared is 12x, 3 times 5x is 15, 3 times 6 is 18. So list out all of the factors, find the biggest number that's in all the lists, and divide it out. If there is an x term in both of them, then we can take out x's as well. But we want to first start off with the numbers and then check out our, our variables.